come out and see a lot of the events in the parkway. Just the marathon in 2007, we said, hey, let's go check it out. And we saw what was happening with the clothing. So we ran home, grabbed some bags, uh, collected a bunch of clothing, and actually donated to a shelter. And then we thought, well, maybe we're on to something. So we gathered volunteers in 2008 and uh, collected about 5,000 pieces of clothes. So we knew we were on to something, and it's just brought from that. This is our sixth year. We started in 2007. And we've been fortunate enough to expand to all the large races in Philadelphia and elsewhere. We work in Atlantic City and Bethlehem and DC, and so we're expanding. It's been really, really fun. Uh, a couple of years ago, Mike Resnick and his daughter were out here, and they watched the uh, race, and at the end, the sanitation people came along to go and stuff. And uh, his daughter was really upset. And so they got, got in touch with me at the Bethesda Project where we have a large shelter. And they said, we think we can do better than this. So the next year, we came out with a group of guys early in the morning and started collecting these. And these, all, these will go to the shelter. We get sorted, uh, laundered, and uh, given out to other shelters as well. And uh, we're going to get them to homeless people. You know, what's happened is that they actually get, go right to the shelter. And um, because of the volume and because they're actually clean, people wear them to the race. It's not like it's at the end of the race where it would be sweaty, dirty clothing. So uh, fortunately, most of it is already ready to go. So really what happens is uh, the, all of the clothing gets separated into men's and women's and sometimes children's as well. And then uh, all, everything is then distributed from the Bethesda project here in the city. Well, layers. Uh, anybody who's street-wise uh, knows you dress in layers. So what these are, especially warm up clothes, are a lot of thin layers, and that, that makes for an excellent preparation for the winter. Uh, you don't know the pounds. Last year we had over 225 bags. It's roughly 50 garments per bag. And uh, but what's exciting about this year is the city is actually taking the clothing to the naval yard to use an industrial scale. Uh, to weigh everything. So we'll know for the first time how many tons of clothing, clothing we've actually distributed. It's part, of, it's part of a program that the city is engaged in uh, to obtain certification for the Council of Responsible Sport. And our activity counts towards credits to obtaining that certification. So it's exciting on that level as well. Yeah, we have the ahead. ceremony where Tony counts the bag, the articles in the bag. And then it's usually around 50 or so, and then we multiply it by the number of bags.